Wag and Gil are defeated. Wag is gone. He shattered. He's, he's gone. The Zakerga destroyed him completely. And now it's just Gil. And he's confused. He, he doesn't understand why Zatch and Key are still standing there. And he still wants to fight. So he pulls out another jar, a frost jar, from the case. But it seems that he's not in control of the situation. I guess the leader or the ruler of whatever organization or whatever thing he has going on teleports him back to where they're going. Because he lost his over. There's no point of you wasting more spells. And it's, it's such a big relief for Zatch and Keo because now they can finally catch up. As soon as Zatch came back, he had to go, he had to dive right into battle. He didn't get a chance to actually talk to Keo. So when Gil leaves, Zatch flies into Keo's arms and hugs him. And after that, it goes it, after that it goes to the panel of Keo giving pages to the books and thus giving the, all the other demons the, that are on earth their spells. Then it cuts into Zatch, Keo, and the orphans, Zahara, Zell, and Omo eating. And Keo begs the question, he asks the question if this is Zatch's body or is it the mummy's? And, and it is the mummy's body. And the clothes were on the mummy. So what exactly is the, was this mummy? What connection does the mummy have with the demons and the demon kings and all of that? Zatch then explains that he saw one of his pages in, in a desk about a year ago. And he said that he began the preparations after he saw the desk. All the necessary preparations. And Zat still love yellowtail fish, but unfortunately for him, they don't have any in Egypt. And and Keo and everyone else didn't know that Zatch was nineteen now. And then he begins to explain to explain how demons grow differently, and he brings up his brother Zion. He says how Zion is more mature and taller than him. And I want to see how Zion looks. <laughs> That'll be an interesting thing. He probably looks pretty cool now because Zatch looks cool. Now, Keo is asking about the other demons, and he explains that Zeon stormed into the fortress of the enemies. But who the hell are these enemies? Who the hell are these enemies? Zell is asking about Ted, Cherish, and Rain, and all the orphans at Ted's house. And Keo was telling them that Brago, Asheron, and more don't need their spells to be powerful or defend themselves. And then we go to Ziggy's grave, and they're telling, and, and they're showing their appreciation for Ziggy. <clears throat> and now we're trying to figure out who the hell are these enemies? Who are these people? We don't know, but they stole all the spells. And and Zatch and the other demons still don't know who these guys are. Like they don't know what they're up against. The next panel shows the Balzakera, in some type of. In some type of cage with capsules and jars. I don't understand. Then it saw some menacing, some menacing looking character. Who the hell is he? <clears throat> Who the hell is this guy? Why? What exactly is his goal? Is it to take over the demon? Where is he a demon? Why does he have a problem with the demons? And who exactly is he? So after we see him. We see Balal. And also in the notes it says that his name Balal is almost a direct reference to the mytho to the mythological figure Bilal. Bilal. And, and, I, and I think that's a demon. One of the demons. Beezabub, Bilal, Satan. I believe that's one of the, the one of the demons that were no, well, one of the fallen angels, Beezabub, Satan, Bilal, I can't think of all the names of them, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that's one of the demons. 
so after that, it shows Gil asking to get Bowser and kill her. He really thinks he's worthy of something like that? And then Bilal has to remind him who the hell he's talking to because Gil is yelling. And then Bilal, Belil, however you say it, displays his strength. And now he's he tells Gil, why the hell would I wait? He basically tells him, why the hell would I waste Bowser and Kira on you? What the hell are you going to do with it? Lose again? Now Keo and Zach are leaving. Because they have to travel again. And figure out what the hell is going on. After Keo, after it shows Keo and Zach leaving, it switches to a panel of Italy with Pogro. Dancing and having fun like he always is. Now we see two new characters, and they and I, I'm guessing that they're associates with Gil and Bilal. Bilal, I hope I, I know I'm saying his name wrong. I'm sorry. And if we know how anime goes, these guys are going to be a tad bit stronger than those two. So we're in for a lot in the next chapter. Interesting. And they also have a suitcase. So all of these characters aren't demons. They're former humans who have stolen spells. So, so this is going to get interesting because what exactly is their goal? I guess we're going to find out soon.